each round, a model can perform a number of different activations. You're allowed to perform either two short actions or one long action. However, you cannot perform the same one twice. A short action, for instance, would be to move this Goblin Rabble, it's five inches. But he would not be able to then move again and attack this Basileum Crossbowman. However, instead of that, he could make a long action of a charge, which would allow this model to get into contact with this Basileum. You must take the most direct route possible, which means that although he will be able to contact the Basileum and fight him, the Basileum will gain a benefit of those barrels as cover. As this Goblin Rabble enters into base-to-base -base contact as a run action, he gains a free melee action, which would normally be a separate short action. We'll come back to that in a moment in the melee section. One of the most important and powerful ways of using power though is to activate group actions. So in this circumstance you can do a group action based on this model and any other model, two models within three inches of him. So what you might want to do here as the Basileum player is do a group shoot which allows all three of these models for the cost of one power to perform a shoot at the same target or targets close to that target at the same time, therefore getting more utility from your models for the cost of the activation. So again, breaking that sequence. The advantage in doing this is that you're allowed to put down more shots before your opponent is able to activate those models. However, all of your models will be activated at the end of that action. You could also perform a group assault where these three models were to attack models close to each other, or you could perform a group defense where these models could move and then perform the brace action, which is normally a long action, so you get an advantage there.